I got a bone to pick. All right. I, I did two streams yesterday. I did a football one and a baseball one. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm not happy with the Philadelphia Eagles right now. And you know, I hate being negative six games into the season, but so, uh, someone's got to say something because we have Dallas this week. Dallas looked putrid. They lost to the Jets. I'm confident we can win that game, but all for the wrong reasons. It's because the Cowboys suck, not because we're good because right now we're not good. All right. That Green Bay game was off Fugazi because um, Devontae Adams got hurt. If Devontae Adams didn't get hurt, we wouldn't have won that game. So, Howie Roseman, this guy gets hyped up every single year for a guy that made moves for the Super Bowl team. Great move, great magician, great cap guy. Yeah, he's a cap guy. That's all he is. He doesn't know talent. For, he doesn't know anything about talent in the NFL. Does it look like he's ever played a sport? No. That's what he brought in Joe Douglas for, to evaluate the talent, to bring in talent, tell Howie Roseman who to get, what works well for the cap. That is what really happened. All right. For all those people saying it was all Howie. No, it wasn't because if it was all Howie, Howie would have got off his hands and knees or off this fucking couch and did something by now. There's so many moves that we could make, but Howie being Howie, he wants to keep his assets for the future and not give them up for a star that we need right now to fix this team because he thinks that he could do it all by himself. And you know what? Let me tell you something. This guy sucks at drafting. He is the worst GM of all time when it comes to the draft. Free agency, whatever. He got Alshon Jeffrey, whatever. Drafting, different story. This guy absolutely sucks at drafting. And he's keeping these assets that may or may not even pan out. He's keeping these first round picks that probably won't even pan out. He picked fucking Marcus Smith in the first round. What makes you think he's going to pick uh, he's what makes you think he's going to pick anything that'll help this team? Why not get a proven player, a proven commodity that could help us win? Because as, as other video makers said, like a Giants fan, Cowboys fans, as other video makers have said, our window is closing and it's closing quickly because our team is old as fuck. It is one of the oldest teams in the National Football League. And everyone's saying, don't give up on this team. Don't do this. Don't do that. There was a play yesterday where both Adam Thielen and Stefan Diggs were wide open for a touchdown. Our secondary is bad, and that's not only it. Where is the pressure? Where is our $100 million man, Fletcher Cox? He's nowhere to be found. No pressure, no discipline, no secondary. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, Howie? Because right now you can do a thousand things, you just choose not to. And guess what? Last week when we beat the Jets, everyone's like, oh, we're back, we're back, we're going to go far. The Jets suck. The Jets are a goddamn horrible football team. And the only reason why they beat the Cowboys yesterday is because Dak is showing his true colors. He can't throw the long ball. And the Jets actually have a decent defense. But on offense, they're not very good. Sam Darnold shows that he's actually pretty decent, uh, pretty decent quarterback. When Luke Falk was in there, he couldn't even move the ball. A, a fucking peewee team could have beat that team last week. A peewee team. I, it's, I don't know what you guys see. I don't know what you guys see. I've been watching the same shit for the last nine years on here. This is one of the most unlikable teams I've seen in my life as an Eagles fan because there's no discipline. It doesn't seem like the team cares. You have Zach, uh, Zach Brown saying, uh, he's talking shit about Kirk Cousins. The guy completely slicing, uh, slices and dices us. And they ask him in uh, the locker room, the post game, they're like, what do you think about the comments about uh, Kirk Cousins now? And he's like, I don't want to talk about that. Bitch, you started it. You started it. This is what I'm talking about. We, the character in this locker room is bad. It's bad. We have no discipline. Character's horrible. This team's so far away from 2017. Everybody want it. Nobody wants it now. And guess what? Howie's not doing anything to fix it. The coaching is poor. Doug has been poor this year. Mike Rose is still on the team for whatever goddamn reason. Jim Schwartz, you know, everyone wants to blame him. I'm not blaming Schwartz personally because he doesn't have any talent to work with. He doesn't. I think Jim Schwartz is actually the least of the problems. And everyone blames the wrong guy but me. Harry Roseman, you absolutely suck. Prove me wrong. Right now, you suck. You suck badly. Get someone to fix this team now or else it's a wasted season. You know what? We may go to the playoffs because Dallas sucks. We may win the division for nine, uh, with a 9-7 and seven record. But we're going to get waxed when we get into the postseason because we don't have anything. We don't. Alshon Jeffrey looks slow. We're missing Deshaun Jackson. Can't rely on him. Don't have a deep threat. Um, you have Antonio Brown sitting right on the couch. Sexual uh, sexual assault got dropped. No one's picking him up. Why don't you go get him? He'd be cheap. I don't get it. Howie Roseman is not a good GM, and he's shown his true colors like he did when he got demoted for, a, for Chip Kelly, a college fucking coach. Is that enough?
Is that enough to say? He got demoted for a college coach. A college coach with no experience. The guy sucks. Prove me wrong. I'm out.